In the Opana title, there's a painkiller called Opana, and I spelled it Opana like that, like a reference to O Pioneer. Just go like the way it's spelled. Don't fuck with drugs, kid. Don't do drugs, just give them to us. It's, it's very heavily Lil Ugly Main influence on the production. B came out to be what it was. I showed the Audi one night when he came over. Plus the sample mentions doing drugs, so we just filled in the blanks with yeah. the rest of it. Wake up with the face. Pop two pills uh, so basically I'm waking up, my head's already pounding, and I reach for like whatever bottle is on my dresser, which is probably a hot Gatorade or something just sitting there for four days. Hey, ironically, my reveal more at a later date is that literally this. Like I'm explaining my lyrics, like I'm revealing more at a later date. This is like not a specific circumstance, but if I met a girl backstage or something, I would literally talk to her and try and get to know her. And then I found out that all she wants to do is suck my dick. So I was like, all right, never mind, I leave. I'm, th I'm saying that maybe my life was better before I had like this quote unquote clout and, and like popularity or whatever. So the grass is always greener when the grave is lacking crowds, meaning like, Literally, the grass is greener. You can see more of the grass. It's also an expression for how good things are. So I'm saying maybe it's better without having fans and how having success. Um, Look Who's Laughing Now is a fuck you to everybody back home and anybody that told me that I couldn't do this, which they told me that for 12 fucking years. So that's a big fuck you to anybody that told me that. And now you're cracking up, you can let the curtains down now. Yeah. I want a potato, ain't no tomorrow, Mr. Coffee Sick. I woke up in the gown house. I just bought two Roxy's, call a body dinner. Roxy's are 30 milligrams in one pill of oxycodone. Uh, very strong pill, um, can lead to very bad habits. Chronic place with something, I'm like, fuck it, let me. Rolling down your block, it ain't shit for the center. Told that bitch, get out my ear, she need a chillin'. Crushing the Xanax before I put it in the drink is like, you know, you don't want people to know you're popping Xanax, you're in front of family, you're in front of friends, and or you don't want people to know you have that habit. You know, it's one way to hide it. We never fuck with you, fuck boy, don't act like you can. Take that motherfucking bed upside your skull. There's a lot of people I don't like. Uh, leave it at that. So full of them drugs, I might throw up, I knew I should know. Yeah, the joint got me high as fuck. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Damn, I should have smoked more of it. Yeah.